Hello, it's Darker Gales here, and welcome back to Rock and I Adventures, Part 5, Stage 5. And from the looks of it, we got so far, and we lost the princess again. But it looks like we're flying, another flying stage. And we got giant bullets with spikes on them. I don't know what's with the spikes on them, but you think the impact would be an explosion, so what's the point of even having spikes on them? And we got some flying pigs out of nowhere. Slash them and pretty much they're just on a suicide mission. A suicide mission, sorry about that. Just slash one by one and oh my god. The battalion. Let loose boys, we want that possum dead. Yeah, they're not gonna touch me. You can try, but they won't touch me. Yeah, the pattern's pretty, pretty random. Well, not random. That's the word I was looking for. A lot of trial and error, I'll tell you that. Just to get past that part. And now we got this weird chicken-looking thing. Spamming all his beam attacks at us. Usually I get in between those, but at that time, he was able to get a free shot off of me. Ouch. And that just spammed down nowhere. But yeah, just keep spamming your uh, slash attack until he dies. Because that's not the worst, that's not the only problem you have to worry about. There's gonna be another guy here. He's gonna like shoot like rocket chain looking thing. I think I kill him. Nope, here comes. They look like bullets on a chain for some reason. I don't know why they're bullets on a chain, but okay. And bam! Man, this guy is crashing into walls like crazy. Must be that strong he can crash through freaking steel and stone walls. And this part, you have to basically rush as fast as possible to the exit, or else these guys can one hit kill you. The reason why I didn't take on the first one was he can also one hit kill you as well. So you do not want to touch these enemies whatsoever. Run and jump! Run and jump! Fall! Yeah, just keep blocking, you should be okay. This button, I swear. Sometimes, on a couple play, uh, a couple of tries, playthroughs of this, I tried to hit the button, and sometimes the button did not want to work. But luckily, that button worked that time. Oh boy, my favorite part. It's a moving, sight scrolling platform level thing? I don't know what it is, or how to call it. I know it's a sight scrolling part. It's not really side scrolling, it should be vertical scrolling. I think that's how I think that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's vertical scrolling. If not, I don't know, vertical or horizontal. I don't know. Either way, just charge, shoot your way up there. As soon as you get right there, and bam! Barely made it. I was trying to hit straight at that time, but I hit the up slash right. Which maybe go bounce off the walls for a second there. And right here you got this little flying floater thing, whatever thing. Spinner propeller thing. And basically what you gotta do is just hit those things. Makes you go up. And makes you go down. The thing is you have to hit it twice to make sure the direction you want to go. Goes the right way. And in this area, you do not want to touch these spikes, because they are one hit KO. I have to say, those are pretty flashy spikes. I don't know why it's super flashy, but don't look at them, just pay attention to the character. And if so, pay attention to these little gems things I'm collecting here. There is a free life, and oh, speak, speak of the devil, it's right there. Huh. But. I have plenty of lives. Like I said at the beginning of this playthrough, I was going to rack on lives, and I have 12 lives, which is pretty good. Because there's only a couple more stages after this one, and I can actually finish the game for you guys. Do is this slash up, going up. Pretty easy once you know, get used to the machine propeller thing. And now for the boss fight. It's Axel Gear, which I think I mentioned in one of my videos, if not 
His name is Axel Gear. And looks like we're about to take him on. But from the looks of it, he's cheating. He's using a giant robot. And I believe I die right here. Oh, nope. Never mind. I do like to put cutscenes just to see the death animation. People want to see the. Yep, see? That's a death animation for when he KO. Just to let you know. Just to let you uh, see the death animations. And all you do is just pretty much charge, run, charge, run. I'm trying to get to the, uh, as far as away from him as possible because he is one hit KO. Who loves a one hit KO? Anybody? Jump on these, jump on these. And now we got our own robot. Congratulations, we're Bopham Sockham Robots. Bam! Oh, I got free hail off me. I got free hail on. Right back in him twice in a row. Come on, buddy. Basically, this can go two ways. One, he can either get you, or two, you can get him. But trust me, if he gets, gets you like multiple times, you will basically lose. Because this guy is not easy. I think it took me like about a good six tries to beat him. And even so, I'm being cautious right now. Because I don't want to get hit. It takes One hit takes away two hearts. And the two of hearts is probably five. Oh, and I beat him. <laughs> and look, oh, look at that. He's serious. He's like, I'm tired of this crap. I'm tired of everything. I'm stopping you once and for all. And I have dirt and limes. Go figure. <laughs> Try the next area. But that's it for this episode, folks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or favorite if you're that type of person. If you haven't checked out the other videos on this channel, be sure to check them out, because they're really cool guys, and they have really awesome videos. Anyways, as always, I also made myself a uh, new catchphrase. And here it goes. As always, guys, stay awesome, my friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.